Hi, this next section is my ditty bag. And I'm sort of thinking ditty bag is sort of like um, the drawers that you have in your bathroom or stuff inside your medicine cabinet. So it's sort of strange to be sharing these with you, but I'll go over them quickly. Uh, so first of all, my ditty bag is a wonderful Dyneema kit. Um, from Ripstop by the Roll. And I think this was like uh, maybe $19. It's Dyneema, a waterproof zipper, and really very lightweight and very handy to put all of your stuff in. So I'm opening up the drawer in the medicine cabinet. So in this section is my personal stuff. So I have my medication that I need. Um, one thing that I wanted to share with you was I have repackaged um, sunblock in these little plastic vials. And I got this suggestion from Mike Clellan. So he wrote this book, Ultralight Backpacking Tips, which is great. And he has some YouTube videos, which are excellent. They're old, they're older, but full of a, a really good information. So he repackages a lot of his um, stuff and it's, with these little plastic um, vials. So that was that's pretty nifty. So basically it's toothbrush, you know, just personal stuff here. Earplugs. And that's an interesting thing because usually I use the noise canceling um, earplugs. So I don't know if these are gonna work. So that should be interesting. Um, survival blanket. Um, my repair kit. Now this is another suggestion by Mike Clellan. And what he suggests you do is you um, go to like a UPS store and ask them for the pieces of silicon paper that they throw away. You know, they print out their label and then they take it off and then they throw this part away. Well, what you can do is you can put your sticky tapes on here and they'll stay, but they come off easily. So here is my tape for the tent, the Dyneema. Here's Tenacious Tape, which I can use for clothing or, or whatever, sleeping bag. And this is shipping tape. And this is specifically for my um, ground cloth with the polychrome. Um, in here, I also have the repair kit for the Neo Air. Knock on wood that it will stay without leaks. Um, I thought rubber bands might come in handy. And then the last thing are my, um, a needle for sewing, and then also safety pins. And I wanted to specifically show you this safety pin. And let's get some white background here. So it's coilless, which means, I mean, if you look at most safety pins, they have a little coil at this end. So I found these, um, when I, I knit. So we use these type of um, safety pins when knitting. But this will be good to put on my pack and it won't get caught up in the shop cord. So really nice invention, these coilless uh, safety pins. So let's see, oh, my first aid kit. And that has the usual stuff. I mean, it's, it, I have um, for blisters, um, disposable gloves, I have my medicines, analgesics, Benadryl, so, and tape. So that's what's in my medicine cabinet slash a ditty. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, so I have some talc powder, which I put in here. CeraVe cream, which is really good. Um, this, um, hand sanitizer, which is good against norovirus, norogerms, it isn't, noro isn't a virus, and extra matches for the um, safety thing, and a little Swiss Army knife. So that's everything that fit in there, and I think that's pretty good.